Hello YouTube, Kyle Cupjack, vocalist of CZYK, and up and coming band you should check out, link in the description below. We are back again with another concert vlog, this time the Sleep Talk Tour with Caskets, Holding Absence, Thornhill, and of course the Sad Boy Kings, Dayseeker. So right now we got Matheny behind me, we got Cody from CZYK to my right. <laughs> And we are currently at Freddy's eating before we go to the show. It is at the Nile Underground. It is a very small venue. It is going to be hot. It is sold out. It's going to suck dick. But it's going to be fun. What are you guys' thoughts? Who are you most excited for, if Thorn anything? Thorn fucking hill. Okay, well, there, there's his. <laughs> Thornhill. Thornhill. And I mean, I've seen Day Seeker live to where I'd have to say the same Thornhill, but I'm excited to see Neon Grave live. Where we go when we die. He has a point there. <laughs> but, alrighty. I'll see you guys at the venue. Yay!
This is not an ordinary record. This is not a night you will forget. This is Sleep Talk.
Alrighty guys, so I am back from the Day Seeker Sleep Talk Tour show. Whew. That venue was fucking horrible. <laughs> it was so hot in there. It was like a hundred degrees and it was a sold out show too. So there was just more bodies in there. It was wild, but let's do the overview. So first band, Caskets, nine out of 10, solid ass performance, very interactive with the crowd, sounded amazing. I haven't even listened to Caskets before, but I am most definitely going to now because they were fantastic and the vocalist was insane live so kudos to them thornhill i don't know if this is the venue's fault or the mixer's fault but there were frequencies that were ripping my ears to shreds my ears are still ringing and it's been like two hours since the show and i probably will uh i'll have to fall asleep with the ringing in my ears it was scree I literally felt my eardrums ripping as they were playing. I was like, what the fuck's going on? Uh, yet again, maybe it was just poor acoustics in the venue. Maybe it was the mixing engineer sucking dick for Thornhill, but it that was bad. <laughs> Thornhill sounded amazing. Like to the core, like band, like the vocalist. I was not expecting that amazing performance out of him. He fucking killed it. I could have lived without their new song Hollywood. It did not trend. It wasn't good studio wise. It wasn't good live. Yikes. <laughs> um, but no, regardless, the appearance was cool. They had great stage presence too, and just overall great job for Thornhill. Holding Absence is next. Overall, a great performance. I can't really say much about them because I don't know too much about Holding Absence. The two songs that I like really, really listened to off of the Greatest Mistake of My Life album, uh, In Circles and Morning Song, they did not play those to where I was kind of whatever about their set. Um, they played Afterlife, which was cool. Um, but everything else, I was like, okay. And with their songs, it's kind of repetitive to where I'm like, oh, the song ended? I, <laughs> I thought like three songs combined into one if you know what I'm saying, but um, regardless, great uh, performance from them as well. And then the one and only Day Seeker. I saw them back in 2019 opening for Wage War, and now they're headlining. So proud of the Sad Boy Kings, and also, oh man, Rory, I swear to God, Rory, every time he sings, he's just, there's 110% passion with that guy. He is a phenomenal vocalist. I aspire to be as amazing as him someday. And RIP Dennis Rodriguez as well. Um, Neon Grave was played. Make sure to click the card and go see the full version of Neon Grave. Just amazing performance overall. I was so happy to hear that they played Sleep Talk in its entirety. The songs Starving to Be Ent <clears throat> Starving to Be Empty for one. So in the studio version, there's a female vocalist in that song. They brought the vocalist of Holding Absence, and I think he played the part perfectly. It sounded amazing doing the harmonies together and doing the secondary vocals. It just sounded so fucking sick. That exceeded my expectations for that song. And then Already Numb, he started it just acoustic and vocals. I thought that sounded amazing. I hope to hear that they do more stuff like that. And then Crash and Burn. I'm so glad they played that song. <laughs> it was so fucking sick. But production was cool. For a small venue, I think they fucking rocked it. The crowd was wild and just Dayseeker kills it all the time. I cannot wait for their new album. I can't wait for to see them live again someday. Hopefully play with them someday uh, at, in a tour someday. We can only dream for right now. But that's it so i'm gonna leave this concert vlog here if you haven't make sure to like dislike subscribe hate me whatever you want to do i'm the vocalist of a metal band called cjyk make sure to check make sure to check us out down in the description below i'm not sure if i'm doing this right make sure to click the card or over there i don't know <laughs>
Click the card for our most recent music video. If you want something heavy metal, listen to our song Cracked or the Void. And if you want something to rock, listen to our songs All I Know or Give It Time. And that's all I got for you. Peace.